My name is Laolu Shebanjo, and I'm a visual artist, human rights attorney, musician, and also an activist. It's important that we understand the why and also the wisdom behind a lot of the art that we see, the intelligence behind it, the proverbs behind it, the philosophy behind it. To understand the meaning gives you a whole new level of appreciation for the art. I want to expose the genius of the people that have come before. That's what drives, you know, what I do. Welcome to the Sacred Art of the Ori. The culture I come from, Yoruba culture, does a lot of storytelling using patterns and using ideas and using philosophy from the culture. So that is where all this, you know, comes together. This is like my language. It's like a tool of how a Yoruba person will see the world, how they will interpret situations, how they're able to draw, for example, how they're able to talk about Black Lives Matter in America. One of my first influences was my grandmother. She used to paint herself too, and she had tattoos on her body. And I was always fascinated by it. I wondered why. And she told me a lot of stories about it. And I just fell in love with that style of what, I mean, the messaging behind it. And I think that was like the bedrock for me. Taking a lot of this, the symbols from Yoruba art and Oshogbo stylized art and putting it on skin was like a, it was a whole new level for me because I think what I did pretty much was move a lot of the ideas that I already had you know, and take it from regular canvas to the skin. When I set out to practice this style, it's often very sacred in nature. That's why it's called the sacred art of the Ori. It's a connection with the person I'm painting. When we say Ori, Ori would mean your essence, your, your information, your vibe, your code, and different things that, that make up your personality, your, your person. So this is why I call it the sacred art of the Ori. And I think one thing that stood out was using these bodies that we have as, as a voice. It's something that is so loud. I started getting calls from people like Beyonce. How crazy is that? I mean, you, you just imagine, like people immediately, almost immediately it's just connect with it on a very surreal level. And I think it's because of the melanin and just using symbols on a skin in such a way where you literally isolate the melanin with the white. So pretty much you're trapping that darkness in the lines and the shapes that you're creating on it. Making it so vivid and stand out that you can't just but look at it. It kind of is captivating. Zeroing on how these ideas come together, you know, and what this, some of these patterns mean. It's cathartic, it's, it's like, when they take on the art and they, they move around like that, they're the art and the art is them. They're like one with it. So it's like 3D experience. You're looking at the art moving in real time. I don't have roadmaps, I don't have templates. Every artwork I create, I create a new template. It's nothing like anything I've ever done in terms of my career as an artist. Learning from the journey and my story and how I've been able to use my cultural references to create art, I think others can also be inspired and be pushed into creating something magical. I want to thank you all for joining in and I can't wait to see what you create. Click the link below and join me on Skillshare. <laughs>